Azelastine is a histamine H1 receptor antagonist used intranasally to treat allergic and vasomotor rhinitis and in an ophthalmic solution to treat allergic conjunctivitis. In this video, let's find found. What is azelastine? What is azelastine used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking azelastine? How does azelastine work? How to use azelastine? What is azelastine? Azelastine, sold under the brand name Optivar among others, is a H-receptor blocking medication primarily used as a nasal spray to treat allergic rhinitis and as eye drops for allergic conjunctivitis. Other uses may include asthma and skin rashes, for which it is taken by mouth. Azelastine was patented in 1971 and came into medical use in 1986. It is available as a generic medication in the United States. In 2020, it was the 173rd most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 3 million prescriptions. What is azelastine used for? Intranasal azelastine is indicated for the symptomatic treatment of seasonal allergic rhinitis in patients 5 years and older and for the symptomatic treatment of vasomotor rhinitis in patients 12 years and older. Ophthalmic azelastine solution is indicated for the treatment of itchy eyes associated with allergic conjunctivitis. As a 0.15% nasal spray, azelastine hydrochloride is also indicated for over-the-counter treatment of allergies in patients aged 6 years and older. Contraindication An adult should help children younger than 12 years old to use azelastine nasal spray. Children younger than 6 years of age should not use non-prescription, over-the-counter, azelastine nasal spray. Side effects Azelastine is safe and well-tolerated in both adults and children with allergic rhinitis. The most common side effect is a bitter taste, about 20% of people. Due to this, the manufacturer has produced another formulation of azelastine with sucralose. Problem of bitter taste may also be reduced by correct application of the nasal spray, i.e. slightly tipping the head forward and not inhaling the medication too deeply, or alternatively using the azelastine slash sucralose formulation. In addition, anosmia, loss in the ability to smell, can occur with nasal spray histamines, including both formulations of azelastine. Pharmacodynamic Azelastine antagonizes the actions of histamine, resulting in the relief of histamine-mediated allergy symptoms. Onset of action occurs within 15 minutes with intranasal formulations and as quickly as 3 minutes with ophthalmic solutions. Intranasal formulations have a relatively long duration of action, with peak effects observed 4 to 6 hours after the initial dose and efficacy maintained over the entirety of the standard 12-hour dosing interval. Mechanism of Action Azelastine is primarily a selective antagonist of histamine H1 receptors, with a lesser affinity for H2 receptors, used for the symptomatic treatment of allergies. Histamine H1 receptors are G-protein-coupled receptors with seven transmembrane-spanning domains that are found on endings, smooth muscle cells, and glandular cells. Following allergen exposure in sensitized individuals, IgE receptor crosslinking on mast cells results in the release of histamine, which binds to H1 receptors and contributes to typical allergic symptoms such as itching, sneezing, and congestion. Primary mode of action is thought to be via H1 receptor antagonism, as elastine, like other second-generation antihistamines, appears to affect other mediators of allergic symptomatology. Azelastine has mast cell stabilizing properties that prevent the release of interleukin-6, tryptase, histamine, and TNF from mast cells, and has been shown to reduce mediators of mast cell degranulation such as leukotrienes in the nasal lavage of patients with rhinitis, as well as inhibiting their production and release from eosinophils, potentially via inhibition of phospholipase A2 and leukotriene C4 synthase. Additionally, patient oral azelastine were observed to have significantly reduced concentrations of substance P and bradykinin in nasal secretions, both of which may play a role in nasal itching and sneezing in patients with allergic rhinitis. Half-life Based on intravenous and oral administration, azelastine demonstrated an elimination half-life of 22 hours. 
Its primary active metabolite, dimethylazelastine, has an elimination half-life of 54 hours. Dose For nasal dosage form, Astolin spray. For treatment of seasonal allergic rhinitis. Adults and children 12 years of age and older, one or two sprays in each nostril two times a day, or two sprays in each nostril once a day. Each spray contains 137 or 205.5 micrograms MCG of azelastine. Children 6 to 11 years of age, one spray in each nostril, two times a day. Each spray contains 137 or 205.5 micrograms of azelastine. Children 2 to 5 of age, one spray in each nostril, two times a day. Each spray contains 137 micrograms of azelastine. Children younger than 2 years of age, use and dose must be determined by your doctor. For nasal dosage form, Astapro spray. For treatment of perennial allergic rhinitis. Children 6 months to 11 years of age, one spray in each nostril, two times a day. Each spray contains 137 micrograms MCG of azelastine. Children younger than 6 months of age, use and dose must be determined by your doctor. For treatment of C. Allergic rhinitis. Adults and children, 12 years of age and older, one or two sprays in each nostril, two times a day. Each spray contains 137 micrograms MCG of azelastine. Children 2 to 11 years of age, one spray in each nostril, two times a day. Each spray contains 137 micrograms of azelastine. Children younger than 2 years of age, use and dose, must be determined by your doctor. For nasal dosage form, Astapro Allergy Spray. For treatment of allergic rhinitis or other upper respiratory allergies. Adult children 12 years of age and older, 2 sprays in each nostril once a day or 1 or 2 sprays in each nostril 2 times a day, every 12 hours. Do not use more than 4 sprays in each nostril per day, 24-hour period. Each spray contains 205.5 micrograms MCG of azelene. Children 6 to 11 years of age, 1 spray in each nostril, 2 times a day, every 12 hours. Do not use more than 2 sprays in each nostril per day, 24-hour period. Each spray contains 205.5 micrograms MCG of azelastine. Children younger than 6 years of age, use is not recommended. Safety Advice US FDA Pregnancy Category C Animal reproduction studies have shown an adverse effect on the fetus and there are no adequate and well-controlled studies in humans, but potential benefits may warrant use of the drug in pregnant women despite potential risks. That's all the information about azelastine we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.